guys, Mick Moore, Internet Entrepreneur here, and uh, you know, I'm so tired of all these knuckleheads talking about SEO and backlinking this and copywriting that and blabbity blabbity blab. So I thought today I would make it real easy for you guys because it really is super, super simple how to do SEO and get your website to the top of the search engine. So today I'm going to give you Mick's 80-20 rule of SEO. So hopefully you have a pen and paper ready and uh, you could always rewind this tape if you need to. So here we go. Mix 80-20 rule of SEO. Rule number one, 80 plus 20 equals 100. Your domain name should be 100% relevant as the main keyword you are chasing. So purchase a domain name using exact main keyword phrases. Um, example, www.discountmountainbikes.com. That's pretty basic. It's what people are looking for if they're looking for a mountain bike. They're going to type in mountain bikes or cheap mountain bikes or discount mountain bikes or mountain bikes of San Diego. If you can get your main keyword phrase in a domain name, that's half the battle right there. Okay? That's the first one. 80 plus 20 equals 100. 100% 100 relevancy for what it is that you're chasing, the keyword phrase. Number two, 80 minus 20 equals 60. The title using your main keyword phrase should be between 60 and 65 characters. I'm talking about the title of each page of your website. So 80 minus 20 equals 60. That's the number of characters that you're going to have in your main title. Okay? Number three, 20. That's part of the 80-20 rule. 20 is the total amount of keywords that you should have on any given page for your website. 20 or less. That's my rule. Start with your main keyword or keyword phrase first and go from there. Number four, 20 plus zero equals 200. Now I know it doesn't really equal 200, but 20 with a zero after it is 200. This is the way I remember it. So 200 is the description should be 200 characters or less, including spaces. Start off your description with your main keyword phrase. Pretty simple. Number five is page content. A minimum of 500 words on a page is what Google's looking for to really look for some good content. So incorporate your main keyword phrase at the beginning of the opening sentence. Number six, I want you to hyperlink that main keyword phrase to an internal page, maybe an About Us page or a Services page that mentions that same keyword phrase. Or, here's a trick I use, hyperlink it back to your main homepage because you're talking about that main keyword phrase anyway. Does that make sense? If it doesn't, rewind this and listen to it again. It's very, very simple. We're just hyperlinking the main keyword phrase back to itself or another page within the website that talks about this main keyword phrase. Number seven, link your main keyword phrase in all internal pages to other internal pages throughout the site that has this same keyword phrase on the page. All right? Number eight, repeat the keyword phrase two to three times for every 100 words. This is most important in the top one third of your page. This will equate to a keyword density of 3%. If you've got your keyword phrase or a keyword, let's say mountain bike, that's a keyword phrase, there's two of them. Mountain bike shows up three times for every 100 words in a paragraph or two paragraphs. That's a keyword density of 3%. Pretty simple. Number nine, end the last sentence of your page copy with that same main keyword phrase that you started that phrase copy. Remember at the very beginning we were saying the very first keyword phrase starts off the very first sentence of the first paragraph at the very end of all that copy on the page end with that same keyword phrase. This will give you another notch with Google. Uh, number 10, add main keyword phrase to all alt tags of your images on the page. Don't call it German Shepherd or you know bicyclewheel.jpg. Say what it is. Discount mountain bike dot jpeg, discount mountain bike climbing dot jpeg, red discount mountain bike dot jpeg, blue mountain bike dot jpeg. You know what I mean? Have your keyword phrase in every one of your alt tags and I also name my image files of what they are instead of just you know 01268 dot jpeg. Say what it is. You know, it's a mountain bike dot jpeg, it's a black mountain bike dot jpeg, it's a Schwinn mountain bike dot jpeg, whatever you want but that just adds more fuel to the fire. Number 11, hand submit your website to the big six search engines and directories. Um, 
I use special software for doing it, but I also hand submit to the big six, and then all the other 1,400 search engines that I submit to, I use software to do it. Um, feel free to contact me. I'll share with you what I use, and you can use it on your own. Uh, number 12, and the final one, create backlinks to the website using main keyword phrases from social media networks and articles. So let's say you put a little, um, a little blurb out here on Facebook, or on YouTube, or on Twitter. Uh, you're having a sale on mountain bikes. So you could write, hey, incredible mountain bike sale on discount mountain bikes, all mountain bikes on sale. And you hyperlink that keyword phrase, discount mountain bikes, to the website, discountmountainbikes.com. Anytime you mention your keyword phrase, no matter where you are, if you do a blog, if you're doing an article, if you're responding to someone's uh, thing in an email, hyperlink it back to your website. That's really powerful for backlinking. And uh, that's Mix 8020 rule for the day. Super simple. You don't have to pay hundreds of thousands of dollars to these people to learn this stuff. It's simple. It's on the web. It's free. I hope this helps. Peace.